بسم الله والحمد لله ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الله أما بعد. So then to continue with the book of Al Qira'ah, the book of reading, <coughs> then we reach this lesson which is Al Dars Al Thani Al Jami'atu Al Islamiyatu. Which is called the Islamic University, Al Jami'a, the university which we've studied, and then Al Islamiyya, Islamic, Al Jami'atu, Al Islamiyatu. See, so, uh, feminine. We have feminine and feminine. So the point, the point of this lesson, is don't be like uh, scared at the amount of text or the amount of text you may not know. It's very simple, because, but the point of the lesson is exactly what the book is called, al qiraa reading. <clears throat> so in these lessons, the intent behind the lesson is to learn some uh, new words, but the main point is to improve the reading of the student. So the point is that you should practice reading this uh, lesson until you can read it perfectly without stopping, only stopping at the, comma, the, at the commas. <clears throat> so what we'll do, I'll read it. I'll read it uh, and then, so you just listen. Uh, I've made a few corrections because there's some printing errors. So the point is that we read it perfectly and you go away and you practice reading it. It's only in this way <clears throat> that your reading will become better. So we we'll read it as follows. Al Jami'atu al Islamiyatu. Bada'at al Dirasatu fil Jami'at al Islamiyati fil Madina al Munawarati fi Yom al Ahad al Thani min Jumad al Akhirati Sanati. واحد وثمانين وثلاث مئة وألف هجري وفي الجامعة خمس كليات هي كلية القرآن الكريم وكلية الحديث الشريف وكلية الشريعة وكلية الدعوة وكلية اللغة العربية يدرس في الجامعة طلاب كثيرون جاءوا من بلاد مختلفة ويدرسون فيها اللغة العربية والعلوم الإسلامية. <تصفيق> so if I quickly read it again, الجامعة الإسلامية. بدأت الدراسة في الجامعة الإسلامية في المدينة المنورة في يوم الأحد الثاني من جماد الآخرة سنة 1381 هجري وفي الجامعة خمس كليات وهي كلية القرآن الكريم وكلية الحديث الشريف وكلية الشريعة وكلية الدعوة وكلية اللغة العربية يدرس في الجامعة طلاب كثيرون جاءوا من بلاد مختلفة ويدرسون فيها اللغة العربية والعلوم الإسلامية. So that's the, point, uh, that's the intent of the lesson. So if we go through it uh, very basically, so uh, with the meanings, so Bada'at, yeah, Bada'at, let's go highlight it, Bada'at is a verb, which is Bada'a, which means to start. Dirasa means like study. So Bada'at dirasa tu, so study started. In the Islamic University. Bil Madina Til Manawara. In Madina Al Manawara. 
be Yomi. So Yom means day. Al Ahad fi Yom al Ahad. So Yom al Ahad, as we know, is a Sunday. As in most of the Islamic countries, the start of the week is on a Sunday. The Yom al Ahad fi Yom al Ahad Athani is the second. Min Jumad al Akhira. Jumad al Akhira is the month which is called Jumad al Akhira. Sana, which means year. And then we have <coughs> the year here. So it's 1300 and 81. After, and so we can read it in three, uh, two ways. So in Arabic, we can read it from number one all the way to. Uh, from number one from here. So you can read it from right to left or you can read it from left to right. So this one would be left to right and this one is right to left here. So we read it like this. So, <clears throat> so don't worry about the numbers because when I was doing it, when I was at your level, I found it confusing as well. So I just left it until a later date. وفي الجامعة and in the university خمس so خمس is five كليات so so كليات translates as faculties or colleges so faculty or colleges here so it says they are we've done here we literally translates as it but when it's plural we say they are the Quran al Karim, so the College of uh, Quran, which is Quran studies, or Kulliyatu, so in the text there it says Kulliyati, and that is wrong. It should be Wa Kulliyatu. Wa Kulliyatu al Hadith al Sharif, and the Kulliya of Hadith, of hadith which a Sharif like noble Hadith. Wa Kulliyatu al Sharia, which is Islamic jurisprudence or Islamic law. <clears throat> so we have law or jurisprudence. وَكُلِّيَةُ الدَّعْوَةِ So da'wah, it literally means, uh, da'wah literally means invite or invitation. So obviously, كُلِّيَةُ الدَّعْوَةِ is where you study about all other religions, enabling a person to invite other people to Islam. وَكُلِّيَةُ اللُّغَةِ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ And the college of the Arabic language. So that's all it's saying is the the study in university started in, in Medina and Munawwara and then it gives you the date and it says and in, in the Islamic university there are five faculties because you do Arabic for two years which is called Shu'bah and then after that you pick one of these five to study in for four years. يدرسوا في الجامعة so here يدرسوا which means it's a verb which means study so يدرسوا في الجامعة so طلاب كثيرون so طلاب is the plural of طالب which is students كثيرون كثير which is many so it says many students study in the, in the university جاءوا, which is another verb which means which means they came جاء, جاء which means to come the verb means to come so they came min we've done min from biladin which is the plural of balad Aladun, which is countries. We've done this last lesson as well. Mukhtalifa, <clears throat> which means different. So they come from different countries, وَيَدْرُسُونَ and they study fiha in them, in them. al Arabiya, the Arabic language, وَالْعُلُوم الْإِسْلَامِيَّةِ and so alum literally translates as sciences.
they study Islamic sciences like uh, Islamic law, Hadith, Quran, and Arabic and Da'wah, Al-Ulum. So that's generally what the short text means. As I said, don't be overwhelmed by all of the new uh, words. Even if you don't understand all of it yet, it doesn't matter. But the intent behind it is to just practice reading it so that you read it. All the way to the end. So you read the sentence without stopping or, you know, um, stammering. So that's the whole point behind the lesson. If you study some of the new words and you and you learn them, then that's good for you. But the whole intent is to read it. And then, so you may not understand a lot of this now, but inshallah, after a couple of months, if you go back and read it again, then you'll be like, oh, yeah, okay, I understand it now. <clears throat> the point is not, don't rush into it. Don't be overwhelmed, as I said, by all of the new words. Just take it as it comes. Five, so we'll do... <clears throat> a, a simple exercise which is tadrib tadrib al awwal the first exercise he says sah qul sahih idha kanat al jumlatu sahihatan wa qul khata idha kanat al jumla khata so he says say is it correct if the sentence is correct or say so sahih means correct if the sentence is correct and say khata which is wrong so we have two up we have an opposite sahih and khata <clears throat> sahih also means you know authentic correct another and khata wrong if the sentence is khata so for example we have oh So we'll, we'll skip. We'll skip the first one. We'll go straight on to the second one because the second, the first one, you need like a class participation, really. So answer the following sentences with complete uh, and with complete answers. So okay, we've got. So let's have. So the first question, <clears throat> he says, "Mata bada'atid dirasa tu fil jami'at al-islamiyya." So, "Mata" is a question, and it means when. So, "Mata bada'at." If we look, "bada'at" means to start. So, it's asking you, "Mata bada'atid dirasa tu fil jami'at al-islamiyya." So, when did study start in the Islamic university? So uh, if we can have Lu Jain is here. So let's have Lu Jain. Mata bada'at al-dirasatu fil jami'at al-islamiyya. So the answer is on the, on the first line. Yes, Lu Jain. Are you with us? Sorry, is that the number itself is at 1381. That's 1381. But 1381. ignore that. Yeah. So if you can't pronounce that, just say 1381. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, uh, um, fil jamia. Al Islamiyah, um, thirteen eighty one. Yeah. So <clears throat> the an the answer would be we just we just have would have to say bada at it bada at So yeah. we just have to say this, and then skip all the way to there. So we would just say bada at it dirasa tu fi yom al ahad al thani min jumad al min jumad al akhira. Just like that. Right. So we don't have to say fil. We could or 
you just you just read the whole sentence all the yes. way through 1381 Hijri. And that's the answer. So if you read it, so Bedatidrasatu. Bedatidrasatu fil jam al Islamiya Bimadina Il Madina Bil Madina Al Munawara Fil Yomil Ahid Fil Yomil Ahad Atani Ahad Atani Min Jumada Al Akhiratu Al Akhirati Al Akhirati Sanatu Sanati Sanati 1381. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Jade. So obviously next lesson, <clears throat> I'm gonna pick on a few of you to read out the whole text to see if you've improved. <clears throat> uh Jamil. So let's have uh Ismail if you're around. Ismail's there, yeah. So Ma Kulliyatu Al Jamiati. So ma, if you remember, ma is what? Ma kulliyatul jami'ah. So if you, have, if you look, kulliyat means colleges. So the question is, ma kulliyatul jami'ah. What are the faculties or the colleges in the university? So your, so your answer would begin from here and end here so you would all you would begin from here here you would say here here kulliyatul qur'ani kulliyatul kariyatu al kulliyatul qur'an al kariyatu no, 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 no. stop stop not al just here kulliyatul qur'an al kariyimi yeah here kulliyatul qur'an al kariyimi وكليات الحديث حديث الشريف وكليات الشريعة وكليات الدعوة وكليات اللغة العربية. That will be the answer. So ما كليات الجامعة هي كلية كلية القرآن الكريم وكلية الحديث الشريف وكلية الشريعة وكلية الدعوة وكلية اللغة العربية جميل عبد القيوم so من أين جاء الطلاب من أين جاء الطلاب so what, what does the question mean uh, where does the student come from yes so where do the students come from so the جاء means to come Remember, where did the students come from? So your answer would be. So see if you can answer it. Um, Jaatu. No, Jau. Jau. Jau min biladin muhtalifatin. That's that's it. That's all. It's asking you. Aina Jau Tullab. Where did the shoots come from? And the so they come from different uh, countries. That's all. So, Ja'u in Biladin Mokhtalifatin. They came from different countries. Or they come from different countries. Ja'u in Biladin Mokhtalifatin. Let's go back to uh, Ujain. Mada, so remember, Mada means what? So, Min Aina. So Aina is where. So we've got four questions here. We've got Mata, then we've got Ma, and we've got Aina, and we've got Mada. So four different words for questions. Mada yadrusu tullabu fil jami'atil islamiyya. So what do the students study? Fil jami'ati al islamiyya in the Islamic University. So your your answer would be? Um, let's just find it. Oh. Um, from here. Okay. Yadrusuna. Um, yadrusuna. Huh? 
Yadrusun. Yadrusun. You said, look. Yes, Yadrusun. Yad that means they're teaching, huh? Uh, yeah. So, just as a benefit, Yudrisun, Blue Jane says Yudrisun. Yudrisun means they teach. So, Yadrus, he studies. Yudris, he teaches. Now, carry on. Yadrusuna. Uh, Yadrusuna fiha. Uh, اللغة, العربية, uh, جيد. So it's ماذا يدرس الطلاب في الجامعة الإسلامية? The answer is يدرسون فيها اللغة العربية والعلوم الإسلامية. They study in it uh, at the Arabic language and different sciences of Islam. جيد التدريب الثالث التدريب الثالث هاتي جمع كل مفردة مفردة مما يأتي so we say هاتي which is a فعل أمر you know like اقرأ اكتب like read write so هاتي means give so if you say someone هاتي القلمة Give me the pen. Hat al kitab. As in the Quran, Allah says, Qul hatu burhanakum. Say, give, give us your evidences in Kuntum Sadiqin if you are truthful. So he says, Hati jam'a. Jam is means plural. So give us the plural of kulla mufratatin, which is a word of every word. From which follows. So he wants you to give the plural of kulliya, balad, ilm, talib. So they're all in the, the text above. So Abdul Qayyum, what would kulliya means college? So what would be the plural? Kulu. Um, yeah, come on. Kulliya. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Kulliyat. Kulliyat. So, Ismail, Baladun, which means country. What's the plural of it above? Balada. Bilad. 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 Biladun. So it's Bilad. Okay. Countries. Lujain uh, Ilmun, which means uh, science or knowledge. Ilmun, Ulum. Ulum. Jamil. Ulum. Jayid. Abduqayum again. Talibun. Tullabun. Tullabun. Jayid. Tullabun. Tullabun. Jamil. Tullabun. So we have kulliya, kulliyat, baladun, bilad, ilmun, ulum, talibun, tullabun. Jayid. Tadrib, arrabi, fourth exercise. So we have da' alamatu sah amam al ma'na al muradif fi kulli kalimatin. So this is a a little bit advanced, but it's okay. So he's saying ba, which again is a is an order. So ba means put. Again, you could say to someone ba al kitab, which means like put the book down. Ba al qalam, put the pen down. Ba means put or put down. Da alama. Which means a sign. Sah. So put a, uh, it's basically alamatu sah, which means a tick. Amama ma'ala al muradif li kalima. So, for example, we have these words. Ja'a. Uh, we want you to put a tick next to the words which have a close meaning to the word ja'a. So, for example, we have three words here. We have masha. Zahaba, Ata. So Masha means, they, these are all verbs, by the way. So Masha means to walk. 
Dahaba, we don't Dahaba, which means to go. And Ata oh, wow. means, okay, <laughs> so it would be this one, Ata, which also means to come. So, for example, either Ja So, look, we can understand this I and L. Either means when. Either Ja. Okay. What does the word Nasr mean? Anybody know? Victory. Help. Victory or help. And if we look, Nasrullahi, Mudaf, Mudaf, and Ilay, which translates as what? Victory from Allah, help from Allah. Yeah. Help of Allah or the victory of Allah. So either Ja Nasrullahi. So when the help of Allah comes, Ja Wal Fatih. So obviously the Fatih here refer, referred to the victory of the conquering of Mecca. Now either Ja Nasrullahi Wal Fatih. So when the help uh, and the aid of Allah comes and the conquering. So, and then we have the word atta, which also means to come. For example, atta amrullahi fala tasta'jilu. In another surah, Allah says, the aid atta amrullahi, the order of Allah has come. Atta, and also, that's the past tense. We say atta yeti for the present tense. طيب, next one we have uh, what's the closest meaning to this one? Yadrus. We have Yakulu, Yata'allamu, or Yakarau. If someone could just guess it. So Yadrus we Yadrus we studied, it mean it means he studies. So studies. Yata'allamu. Yata'allamu. So it would be this one. So Yaqul means say. he says. Yata'allam, okay. he studies. So this would be the one. He studies. Yaqra means he, read. he reads. No. So these are past tense, these are present tense. So Yadrus, same as Yata'allamu. Khayrukum, if you know that, if you remember the the hadith where the Prophet said, Hadith of Uthman, Khayrukum. So Khayru means best. Kum. best. The best of you is man who ta'allama. Ta'allama. Who studies al Quran. Wa wa'allamahu. And then he teaches it. Wa'allamahu. Who, and he teaches it, who goes back to the Qur'an and teaches it. خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ Next one, we have مختلفة. What's مختلفة, Lujain? Different. Different. So, have a guess, Lujain. We've got واحدة. So, what's the closest mean to مختلفة? واحدة متعددة أو قريبة. What does wahida mean, Lujain? Um One? Yeah, it means one. So that's not it. Wahid. Or it means first. Okay. Qariba. We know qariba means what? Close. Close. So therefore it must be. Mutadida. Mutadida. So different, different. They both mean different or many. Mukhtarifa. Mutadida. Jade. Okay, then we have a very quick last exercise. A tambreen. So we have a tambreen al a tadrib al khamis, the fifth exercise, which is rattib al kalimati litu kawina jumlatan jumlatan mufida. So rattib is another fi'al amar, it means um, arrange. Literally means arrange. Arrange the words. So, uh, so all these words are all mixed up. Arrange them to make a suitable sentence. So, I'll have uh, Ismail to do the first one, 
Al Tafayum to the second one, and Lu Jane to the third one. So you have to rearrange these words to make a suitable sentence. So we've got fi, which is in, a sharia, Islamic law, kulliya, college, ana, which means I, and adrus means I study. So if you give it a go, Ismail. Ana adrusu fi kulliyatul shari'ati. This is Anna Adrusu. He just made one mistake. He said, Fi Kulliya Tu. What should it be? Fi Kulliya Tishariati. Fi Kulliya T. Because of the the Fi. Fi Kulliya T. Ashariati. Anna Adrusu. Fi Kulliya Tishariati. I study in the College of Islamic Law. طيب, next one, Al Jamia, which is university, Kulliyat, faculties or colleges, D in Al Islamia, Islamic, and then Khams, five. So I'll give you a helping hand. It starts with Fi. Fi, Fi Kulliyat. لا في جامعية الإسلامية في خمس كليات جميل صوت في الجامعة الإسلامية خمس خمس كليات صوت بان الجامعة الإسلامية خمس كليات So that's I mean, in Islamic uh, university, there's five kulia, five uh, faculties. Yeah, in Islamic university, there are five faculties or colleges. Now, Lujain, at students, Mukhtalifa, different men from Ja'u, come and Bilad. Ja'u, Tulab, min Bilad, Mukhtalifa. So it'd be Ja'u Ja'u Tullab or, or you could say at tullabu Ja'u It actually would be at tullabu Ja'u Min Biladin Mukhtalifatin Again, excuse my writing من بلاد مختلفة صفة مختلفة من بلاد مختلفة جيد so that's it so I said as the main point is to revise and to read the text over and over again it's just one small paragraph uh, so that you read it so that your reading improves that's the whole intent if you've learned any of what's below, then Alhamdulillah. Jeez, any questions on this? Jade.